Hi, this is John. Welcome to another video. Today I'm in the new version of Lightroom, which is Lightroom 3.3 or 3.3, released by Adobe in June 2020. And um, I want to tell you about one nice new feature which a lot of customers have been waiting for, and that's the ability to add watermarks to our photos now on export. Um, this was only previously available from mobile devices, and um, many of you will want to have been able to export from the desktop, which is much more convenient. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of this new version today. Um, I'm going to jump to my library and I'm going to select this uh, album called Canyon Lands, which has got um, a few nice photos from trips to the USA. And I'm going to press Control A to select all. That's Command A on the Mac. And then go top right here and click on the Share button and then click on Export. And you can see now that um, I've got this set to TIFF and small. I'm actually going to put a custom size in because I want the pixel size on the long edge to be 1,500 pixels and Lightroom will automatically um, create the exact dimensions keeping to the original um, aspect ratio for the photo. So we only need to put in the um, dimensions for the long side that we want. 8 bits will be perfect because um, I'm going to be using these on a on a blog. Um, and now we have this little box here which we can check called Include Watermark. And if I go to Watermark Settings, you can see the controls for the watermark. And if you look um, bottom left here, you can see that my copyright, 99 John, already appears. And we have various options. We can increase the opacity to full and that brings it up to white. We can change the colour to black if we want to. I mean that probably works better on very light photographs. But I'm going to stay with white and um, I'm going to reduce the opacity because I like my watermarking to be more subtle. And um, we can also increase the, um, the size obviously if we want it um, to be bigger or smaller. There we are. That looks quite good, and we've got we've got these anchor points here in this um, little middle section, and we can move it to the top left, top right, in the center, or we can move it center there. So let's leave it bottom right. We can also, if we want to, to add a drop shadow, and we have this rotate button. So if you prefer the um, the, the copyright to be sideways, you can um, you can also do that by clicking the rotate button a few times. So we'll leave it as it is. We also have the um, we used to have one offset slider in the mobile version. Now we have horizontal offset and vertical offset. So you can get your watermark positioned almost exactly where you want it with infinite precision before you start the um, the the export. And you can click along the film strip, if, film strip if you want to see the preview on different photos, how it might look. And um, as you can see, in most cases, it works quite well. That photo is quite bright, so um, it doesn't show up quite as well. But that, I, I think that's sufficient for my um, for my purposes. And there we have them all, our Canyonland photographs, all watermarked and then we just simply click on done and that takes us to the next dialog and we just click on export 10 photos and they will go to the folder of your choosing. So I hope you like this new feature in the latest version of Lightroom and you can update the application by launching the Creative Cloud desktop app and simply clicking on update. If you don't see the updates immediately, try clicking on your avatar and um, signing out or signing back in again and researching for more updates. So thanks for, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video and see you next time. Bye for now.